I think what the implication of the cascading risks is that we need to keep thinking about climate adaptation strategies as a global problem. It can't just be contained as a local isolated issue. So if you look at the UK, for example, we've recently published our third climate change risk assessment. And not only did it consider the domestic risks that you would expect, the droughts, the floods, the things that will happen within the UK, it also considered the international risks that could come from outside of the UK and feed back and affect the country. So we saw in COVID, for example, just how interconnected the world is and how the shutdown created so many supply chain issues, it created health issues, it created all sorts of problems that cascaded across sectors and borders and climate change could potentially impact in the same way. It's not clear quite how all the transmissions will work and that's where this research is really interesting to start to conceptualise how droughts and floods and climate problems in countries that you may consider far away can then feed through a chain and impact in countries like the UK or the European Union. And we really need to start considering that in our strategies.